Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the What to Watch video for Valentine's Day weekend. Yep, the soccer schedulers have really made sure that all soccer fans will be available for their loved ones on Valentine's weekend, <laughs> and especially on Valentine's Day. But we'll see about that. I'm wearing Hertha mostly because I really love this shirt. Second, uh, the story is going this week with Klinsmann. Stepping down, wanting to go to the advisory board and then being said, no, you're not going there because the way you left was just uh, too sudden and not very good. There's a lot of stuff going on there. I personally, if I was a Hertha fan, I think I would be even happy because I don't rate Klinsmann as a good club coach anymore. But mostly this jersey is beautiful and I'm not sure how often I will be able to wear it this season. So let's take any chance again. Absolute gorgeous jersey. Uh, but let's go through the leagues. I picked all in other leagues where I think there's really an interesting matchup in there, regardless of whether I can watch it or uh, not. And then I uh, will run through these. Also, lots of leagues are back, and, uh, most notably Austria, but I think also Denmark is restarting, you know, uh, in the Czech Republic and so on. Not that we go through all these, because most of these don't have really good matchups, but one actually does have a pretty big one. So uh, only the really cold weather countries are not playing as of this weekend. Let's start right in Spain, where I think we have a pretty nice Valentine's Day game with Valencia Atletico Madrid. Not the two most exciting teams, I admit, but I think a big name matchup uh, that is rather unusual because La Liga on a Friday evening is usually putting some smaller matchup uh, there, but probably for that day they just say let's put a big one there. The big one in this weekend surely is Barcelona Getafe. Um, I think this is a banana skin for Barcelona. Uh, Getafe is playing awesome as of late. Uh, if they can get a point in the camp now. Uh, Real Madrid playing against Vigo late on Sunday might actually take advantage of that. On the other side, Barcelona wins and puts a little bit of pressure on Real Madrid. And you know, you never know what Celta will do. Um, other games, I see a basketball between Eva and Real Sociedad, another sort of basketball with Athletic Club against Osasuna, so those are rather big matchups there. As well, and via Real Levante, yeah, it's also uh, Comunidad de Valencia, so there are some interesting matchups in Spain, but I think the two that I picked out are definitely the big ones. Um, we also have the Premier League back. Well, to be fair, it was never really gone, but we just had three games, and now uh, there are a few that are uh, that the round is completed. It's actually the return from the first round. And it starts again Friday. Wolves, Leicester City. Doesn't sound too bad, to be honest. Um, Norwich plays at home to Liverpool. It's probably the matchup on Saturday. Then they really stretch it out up until Monday. Uh, you know, there's Arsenal, Newcastle, Inter, Villa, Tottenham. I mean, those are all big team, big name teams, although they might not be in the table. And then everything is rounded out by Chelsea against Manchester United. We have then on Wednesday, City against West Ham. So a uh, really stretched out round, but they get it all uh, going together. So, um, yeah, I won't say a bad round, but I think the fixtures that we had last week weekend were kind of the lower ones, and now we get better, better ones. But I honestly have to say, I don't think that my focus this weekend will actually be that much on the Premier League, but uh, you never know how it will go. But when you see it, the other games that are coming, I think you might agree with me. Uh, in Germany, again, a nice Friday game. Dortmund-Frankfurt. That's a pretty interesting matchup between very offensively, very sound teams, defensively, very shaky teams. So there, are, I think there are goals in there. Other than that, frankly, nothing too exciting either. Leipzig-Bremen sounds like something is nothing. Because Bremen is uh, a horrible system. Wearing Hertha. Hertha is playing at Paderborn. That will be very important for them already um, in relegation. And I think Düsseldorf Gladbach um, is already, it's not only a kind of sort of a derby, but that's something uh, to look out for. Uh, but everything else I don't expect, like the, there's not this big uh, match in there that grabs me. There are big matches that grab me in Italy though. Um, we have on Saturday, no Friday games, note. Atalanta Roma. Um, Pretty much the chance for Roma to get back into it, but I'm afraid that Atalanta will say, 
Adio, Roma. Uh, after that game, Juve Brescia, um, Juve needs to get back. We have a semi derby between Udin and Verona. I think it all, you know, then we have the Southern Derby in Cagliari and Napoli. That could be interesting, but I think it really all boils down Lazio, Inter. Lazio, one point behind Inter. Uh, we will already know the result of Juve. Uh, if Inter beats Lazio, then I think Lazio's title hopes take a huge dent. Uh, if Lazio would beat Inter, I think we're talking real title challenge then. This is a make or break game for Lazio. Maybe a little bit less so for Inter because they have the most superior um, position. And I also think they have the deeper squad. So I think this is a must win for Lazio. And then Milan Torino. Which is one of those games, ever since I restarted started watching, Milan cannot win at home to Torino. Yes, they won in overtime in the, in, in the Cup, but this is a game that Milan better win. Because you don't want to get more Torino back in the mix. A big one also in France, late on Sunday. I think Monaco won't be a Friday evening is also not too bad. But Lille, Marseille, those are two that are uh, fighting out for a direct Champions League spot. So that's definitely an interesting one. Um, if I look at the other, uh, nothing really that I would say that grabs me, but you, every week I say France is so tight that any result here can cause big upheavals within the table. But I think Lille Marseille is the standout tie. Um, and then we move around a little bit. We go now to Portugal, where... Um, yeah, we had the big one last weekend, and Mefica has another big one against Braga. Um, again, must win, especially Porto also against Guimarães is also a local rivalry, so that is interesting too. So uh, the title run continues. Maybe Braga can trip up Mefica, and then Porto could, could swoop in. All to be seen. This is again, can they back it up somehow? So looking forward to see how this one is going in Turkey. Trabzonspor took second spot and now they play at home to first place Sivaspor. So, pretty big matchup. Two against one right there. I'm not sure now if Trabzonspor could take the lead, but I think they might have a chance to take the lead if they win. Um, we have also Bajakshi against Bajikdash on Friday. Pretty big matchup right there because Bajakshi here also is in there. Um, Galatasaray against Malatya Spor, I don't think so. Ankara against Fenerbahce could be interesting. We end this video though with the biggest game for me personally. And this is Friday evening. I probably will tape it because I want to spend the evening with my family, but I probably will tape it. Salzburg, Lask in Austria. That's first place against second place, two points separate the two. Uh, it is not a title decider, uh, but it is a pretty big match where the two teams can fill each other out and then they play right the next week Europa League. So a uh, really, really um, critical matchup, I think, for both teams to kind of feel it out. How, Where are we? Can we play with the big opponent? On the other side, I actually could cool, could imagine that they just played kind of safe, but let's see. The other matches in Austria, honestly, nothing exciting there, but it's all, and I don't really get what, I mean, I get because you want to give them a time to prepare for the Europa League. But other than that, this would be a classic Sunday late game matchup. So that's what's to watch this weekend, Valentine's weekend. There are a lot of... Make or break games, I have to say. A lot of 2 3 matchups, I have the feeling, and with, one, with 2 1 2 matchups in there. So, uh, interesting stuff. Let me know what you'll be watching. I, as I said, Austria and uh, Serie A, and to a lesser degree, also La Liga, is where I think I will put my focus this weekend, and then we'll see how it will go into Monday or whatever. Whether I will watch like a Manchester City Chelsea or oh, Monday. No, I will not watch that. I will watch Milan Torino. So. Heading ahead. Anyway, I want to know what you'll be watching, what you're excited. Maybe I'm missing a game that could be interesting um, there. Uh, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.